Today is World Alzheimer's Day, a day to raise awareness about a devastating disease and its impact on patients and their families and their caregivers too. Alzheimer's is the most common type of dementia affecting some 44 million people worldwide. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at some of the factors that really could impact your risk. Exactly, Karen and Devin. You know, Alzheimer's may seem to strike at random. In reality, though, there are factors that can increase or decrease your risk of developing it. Some of those factors we can change, some we can't. Every 65 seconds, someone in the United States develops Alzheimer's. Nearly two-thirds of them are women. By age 65, one in five women will be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Conditions that affect the heart and blood vessels may also boost your risk. These include heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, and high cholesterol. Research also shows people who use anti-anxiety drugs may be at an increased risk for dementia. A lack of quality sleep may also play a role. Researchers at Harvard found people who slept fewer than five hours per night were twice as likely to develop dementia. Air pollution might be another culprit. Older adults who lived in areas with a higher concentration of air pollution were 1.4 times more likely to have dementia than those who lived in areas with clean air. And smokers beware. The World Health Organization estimates smoking may be responsible for 14% of dementia cases worldwide. Finally, new research suggests seniors who've had COVID-19 may also face a higher risk. They were more likely to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's within a year compared to those without a documented COVID infection. Researchers say inflammation caused by the virus could be to blame. We were a little bit surprised that how much of an increased uh, hazard there was for developing Alzheimer's uh, disease in such a short period of time. Now, it's really important to note the seniors in this study got COVID-19 early in the pandemic before antivirals and vaccines were widely available. In fact, experts theorize those might help lower the risk of Alzheimer's. Back to you.